Hi. So today I'm going to show you how to route multiple tracks into Voxengo Span. Uh, as you've seen in the intro, uh, I've just got a kick and a sub bass running into it, and basically it's displaying both their frequency um, information at the same time on the analyzer. So this is useful for when um, mixing uh, two sounds together, in this case kick and a bass, um, which allows you to actually see the frequency masking and not just rely entirely upon your ears. Um, there's a lot to be said for doing it by ear and you shouldn't rely on your eyes entirely. However, if you're not sure what's going on, it can be cool to have these sort of visual cues to clue you in. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set this up. So first, I've got a kick and a bass, but you can use any sounds that you want. It's just an example. Um, I've got them both rooted into a bus. And then I've got span in the insert. Um, so to set up span, we want to click on the routing. And as you can see, A and B here on the input, this would be the kick. This is the left and the right stereo channels. So we've got bass as well, so in this case we want to add two more stereo channels. So you add C and D. And you can go on to add another two more stereo channels or four mono channels. That's the maximum the uh, span will allow. Um, once we've done that, we we'll go down here and we want to basically do the same thing. C and D. And now um, one thing you can do is label these um, so you know what's going on. So where it says input channel labels, click here, name this one kick L, kick R, and base L, base R. And over here we have group names. So the group one would be kick. And group two would be bass. One last thing we need to do is to go into the settings, go to processing, um, where it says input one, click add kick, input two, add bass. So now, we're only seeing one signal, or one uh, sort of response overall. So what we want to do is uh, go to where it says underlay, click this, and then click base. And where it says base, we want to go down here, click underlay, and then click kick. So now, when we go back to kick, we see this. So this is this horrible greeny, yellowy color here is the kick, and this orangey color here is the base. So uh, I mean, we can change the colors of these if we want. So as you can see, this is quite useful for spot and frequency masking that might be going on in your mix. Uh, as you can see here with the with the kick and the sub bass, they are masking each other. Um, if I click on this bass here and play, um, basically what all that does is overlays the bass over the top of the kick. You can switch back and forth between the two or more if you have other instruments going on. Um, only problem is with span is that you can only display two overlaid instruments at any one time. So you could have kick and bass uh, on one group and then when you get to the bass you could have bass and a snare 
for example, on the other group, but you couldn't have kick, bass, and snare all in the one window. Uh, another thing is this hold button here. If you're playing and you press it, it sort of takes a snapshot, so you can just analyze it if you wish. Um, hopefully uh, you find this useful.